You've heard about Tesla, right? But have you heard about BYD? If not, you should have, because it is taking over the world. I recently joined BYD in China to experience the tech that is sure to be a game changer when it comes to new energy vehicles. We kicked off the trip in Shenzhen, which is pretty much the Silicon Valley of China and home to some of the world's most cutting edge tech companies, including BYD. BYD, short for Build Your Dreams, entered the car market in 2005 and became the first automaker to officially stop producing internal combustion engine vehicles in 2022. By 2024, they celebrated an incredible milestone, their 10 millionth new energy vehicle rolled off the production line. Move over Tesla, BYD is changing the game. Guys, we are at the racetrack at Zhengzhou in China, and we're gonna spend the entire day putting all these cars and all this technology to the test. So it's going to be so exciting. I cannot even begin to tell you. In fact, I think you're just gonna to have to come and see what I have to do. Built by engineers with a passion for technology, the tech they create is seriously next level. Let me introduce you to one of their wildest creations, the Yangwang U8, a floating car. Yes, you heard right. This beast delivers 880 kilowatts of power and a massive 1,280 newton meters of torque, hitting 100 kilometers per hour in just 3.6 seconds. But the coolest part? It can swim. Designed for emergency situations, the floating system activates once the car goes beyond a one meter wading depth letting you literally drive in water. Imagine a luxury yacht, but in a car form. And then there's the Yangwang U9, AKA the dancing car. It rockets from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in just 2.3 seconds, thanks to its quad motor four wheel drive setup, pumping out 960 kilowatts and 1,680 Newton meters of torque. But performance is just the start. This car can jump, spin and even dance thanks to its Desus X intelligent suspension that adjusts each wheel independently. These party tricks aren't just for show though, they help the car handle tough conditions like driving on three wheels after a tire blowout or maneuvering tight spaces. Okay, we're about to go racing guys on the track. I'm in the U7, pumpy. Nice. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, we're going. Here we go. Guys, don't forget, this is electric. Ooh. Oh, oh. <laughs> nice. Nice, <laughs> yay! <laughs> now, range and charging anxiety has quickly become a thing. But BYD has worked on a solution that could honestly change the EV game altogether. Their Super E platform with megawatt charges can add up to 400 kilometers of range in just five minutes. That's about two kilometers every second. Though, let's be blunt, South Africa's grid might need some serious upgrades to keep up. I had a brief chat with A.D. Huang, General Manager of BYD Middle East and Africa, who says there is so much more to look forward to when it comes to the tech we will be seeing in South Africa, which happens to be a very important market for BYD. A step by step, we are going to introduce more affordable range of the BEV uh, uh, the cars. This is the best uh, way to educate the market and the people. Once they get into the car, they test they drive the EV mode and then it's a long distance combination, they will love it. So I think the, the game changer will start from here. Hey, this is the Denza CZ9 GT. And here we go. Go, 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 go. Oh my go, God, go. I lost it, I lost it. Ah! Oh, oh, yeah. And that is a wrap from our trip with BYD to China. As you can tell, I'm actually at the airport hotel waiting for our flight home. But I can tell you that this has been 
an extraordinary experience. And I think if we just get a little bit, even a little bit of the technology that we've experienced here with BYD in South Africa, it's still gonna blow our minds. We can really look forward to the fact that the Eto one is coming. There's a couple of other things that have been almost confirmed. But I think that we are in for a lot of BYD product and a lot of BYD technology that will probably be the game changer in South Africa. I'm certainly hoping that it will be, because if anything, they're going to start educating and really pushing the EV and the sort of new energy vehicles into our market so that customers feel confident enough to own one and to purchase one. And that in itself is just of the utmost importance. So I am so thrilled to have been on this trip and to have experienced all of this. And I'm certain that you are, well, hopefully as excited as I am. <laughs>